AIDS is a killer that shows absolutely no mercy. Today is World AIDS Day, and there are cheers for some gains in the fight, but also the realization that the battle is far from over. Here in Atlanta's Centennial Olympic Park, organizers showed off the world-renowned AIDS quilt today. The UN says the number of new HIV infections is decreasing, but there are two new infections for every one person starting HIV treatment. Other sobering facts you must pay attention to. Some 33 million people worldwide are infected with HIV. The 2.6 million new infections is down from 3.1 million in 1999, and there were 1.8 million AIDS deaths in 2009, and that is compared to a little over 2 million in 2004. Over 60 million people have been infected since the start of the epidemic in the 1980s. Nearly 30 million have died. That's nearly 30 million people. And that's why I want to bring in Mark Ishog. He's in Chicago with us. He's the president and CEO of the newly created AIDS United and AIDS United and also the president and CEO of the AIDS Foundation of Chicago. Mark, thank you so much for joining me. We list off all of those numbers, but they're real numbers. Those are real people. What do those numbers say to you? There's some good and there's also still some bad. Hi, Kate. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is a really important day, World AIDS Day, and it's not just about the numbers, which are horrific, 33 million people worldwide and a million people in America living with HIV, but this is also a time of great hope, and uh, that's why I'm so excited to be leading this new organization, AIDS United, uh, which is a result of a merger of AIDS Action and the National AIDS Fund. But it's not about the merger, it's about what we're going to do uh, to end this epidemic in America. Tell me about the merger. What is, it, what is it gaining for you? What are you guys taking on? How are you, t how are you taking on this fight, this r continuing the fight? Where are you putting your focus? Well, in a couple of ways. But we are so committed to unifying the fight against AIDS and to bringing all people into this big tent. Because the only way we're going to conquer AIDS in America is if we are united. And that's what AIDS United is going to be all about. But we're going to focus on a couple of things. We're going to focus on raising private and public resources and getting those dollars to the communities most impacted by AIDS, including the South, which is just devastated by this epidemic. The second thing that we're going to do is really focus on health care reform, because this, Kate, this is the game changer. This is what will bring about the end of the epidemic in the United States. I was reading something that really struck me. I read that despite the lower numbers, the demand for resources is still surpassing the supplies that are out there. Does that, are people forgetting about the crisis that we still face with, with AIDS and HIV? Yes, I think as Dr. Koop, the former Surgeon General, said so eloquently a couple, a couple weeks ago, in some ways AIDS is a forgotten epidemic in America. And AIDS United, we're about changing that story because we can. There are a million people living with AIDS in this country, and there are 50 to 60,000 new infections. Each one of them is preventable. And if we just focus our energy and our resources, uh, we can end this epidemic. As the head of the CDC said recently, and we have agreed with this for a long time, AIDS is winnable. We have tools, we have expertise, we have the best scientific minds in this country. We have people with HIV that are so committed themselves to ending this epidemic, uh, and that if we unite, through AIDS United and all of our other partners, uh, there is no way that we cannot win this battle. It's a good point to end on. A good day for everyone to remember the battle that we still have ahead. Mark Ishog, the President and CEO of the newly created AIDS United. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, Kate.